Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a program that counts how many times a distinct word appears in its input. So for example, if our input is this, the word high appears twice, the word there appears once, is once, and as appears three times. Okay, so the way we're going to do this program is by using vectors, so we have to include vectors. We're going to use a vector to store all the words that the user inputs. And we're going to use a function called sort. And in order to use it, we have to include algorithm. OK, so first we want to tell the user to enter words. And we're going to store the word. We're going to store the word in a string. Let's call it string words. Um, and we're going to store all the words in a vector a vector of strings, we're going to call it string holder and now we're going to say while so we're going to say while cn words, so while the user keep entering words we're going to st store all those words in the vector, so string holder dot push back that's how you store stuff in a vector um, words. Okay, so this string holder is going to hold all the words that the user enters. And now we're going to use sort and we're going to say from the beginning of the vector string holder dot begin to the end of the vector. Okay, so what this sort is going to do is let's use this as an example. So it's going to uh, sort the words in dictionary order. So it's going to say as, 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 and then high, high is there. So this will become this when we use sort. And the reason this is helpful is because now we can count all the as. So there's going to be three. Um, like we don't have to look. There's one here and then there's one here. There, if, if, if the word appears more than once, it's going to be next to next to the word. If the word appears more than once, it's going to be right next to the word. So this is as appears three times, it's going to be all next to each other. Okay. Um, now um, let's store the size of the vector. So int v size equals string holder dot size. That's how you get the size of any vector. And if the size is zero, that means there's no words. Then we're going to tell the user no words and end the program. OK, so assuming there are words, then we're going to we're going to need a, a counter to count how many times the word appears. So let's say int word count and start it at 1 because if there is a word, it's going to appear at least once. Right? And the first word is going to be the word at position 0. So uh, let's just say that words equal. We can re reuse this string variable because. Uh, all the words were already stored in the in the vector, so let's just say words equal string holder at position zero. Okay, so now let's use a for loop. So for int i equals one as long as i is less than v size i plus plus. Okay, so the reason we're starting at one is because we already know the word at position zero. It's stored in words. Okay, so, so if the word next, since we're using sort, if the word next to, um, the word after, after it is not the same word, then we know how many times it appears. So, for example, if if the next word after is is not is, then the word only appears, the word count amount of times. So if 
word does not equal string holder at position at position i then we're going to tell the user words appeared word count amount of times and then we're going to reset the word count so word count equals zero and now we're going to change the word to that position so now words equals string holder at position i okay so let me just finish this and then I'll explain it and then outside this for loop so if the word uh, is equal to the next word so for example here this as is equal to as at position 0 is equal to as in position 1 so I mean it appears more than once so we're going to increment the word count and that's it so okay so here words is this first as so words is this as and now we're, we're saying if if words at position if words which is this one is not equal to this one then we're going to say how many times it appeared but it is equal to this one so we're going to increment the word count so now as has appeared has appeared twice right and then we check now we're at position two which is this one and the same thing we increment the count so now it's three times and now we're checking against position four and words at position four is not equal to as so we're going to say words which is as appeared four times now word count is zero and now words becomes this one and that's how it's gonna keep doing that okay so now um, if we're out of the for loop then we know we have one final word that we have to save account for so we're gonna see out words appeared word count amount of times and that is the whole program so let's run it and see if it in fact works so it's going to tell me to enter words so let me um do the same thing hi there is as as high as and now I press control Z and it says as appears three times which it in fact does one two three high appears twice high appears twice is appears once and there appears once um, so yeah that's how this program works I hope this video was helpful thank you for watching